right. Time for a Diana game. I will be playing against a Shaco here, which is something I do have to concern myself with for the early game, at least. The most likely scenario is that Shaco starts on his top side, on his red side. Uh, so I'm going to start on my blue buff here with a leash or no leash. I don't really care that much, uh, but I want to start here because this way he can't do like his top side into an invade here uh, very easily. So that's why we're going to do this. And then we can clear it down towards the bot lane and be safer against like Shaco invades because he is going AD Shaco with Ignite. So I do want to respect that. I am not going to get a leash here, but I'd rather do this for jungle safety than get a leash for a bit of a faster clear. So I can actually survive, you know what I mean? So that's what we're doing here. The initial like first level is kind of a pain, uh, but after you get some more skills, you will be more fine. You have to make sure that you keep your attack speed as useful as possible for your passive. And that's why we take, like, we have the double adaptive going for this, right? That you don't need the attack speed in your runes as much if you use your passive correctly to extend. And you're rushing in Nashers anyway, so you'll be rushing attack speed for a bit more damage in this scenario. It's a big hook. So uh, a lot of damage on Ezreal. Hey. Uh, that is, I mean... I'm gonna have to danger ping top, I think, because that's probably the most likely gank. It does die, okay, there it is. I got expected, yeah, that, see what I mean? He cleared his entire top side, and now he pathed in this direction here, uh, to the point where he could have otherwise invaded me on my blue buff, and then I would have been an absolute pain, because I can't really fight the Shaco too well, so it just would not have been good. Oh, great, he did, he, he allowed that one. Ah. Uh, yeah, what can I say? I danger pinged my Heimerdinger, but he did not listen, so... It did do be what it do be at that point. That's okay. Jago's probably gonna go for his bot side camps now, I would imagine. He's gonna actually smite that and just queue over this wall. I'll just finish my clear. Uh, elo of this game, in case you didn't know or it didn't say it yet, it is uh, bordering Emerald Elo. So, like, high, plat, low, Emerald, MMR type of deal. So you are aware. And, uh, yeah. I will go and scout his bot side camps, potentially. Like, bot scuttle, bot side camps. I mean, I don't know what's going to be possible here. It looks like my Yasuo and my Thresh are playing relatively safe. He might be doing his blue buff, which he is. I don't know if this is going to be a possibility, but... That's a tiny bit annoying. No, I missed. I'm so bad. Oh, he actually walked that. I played that so badly. I could have killed him for sure. Eh, all right. Fair enough. I, I played too aggressive, honestly. Like, I should not have played that aggressive. There was no need. I'm a bit I'm a bit dumb-dumb right there. I also misplayed. Like, I wanted to flash auto-attack Q to kill the Shaco quickly. Which I would have gotten if I'm just not terrible at positioning my flash. So, you know, there is that. Shaco's going to be bolt here, and that's going to be a uh, problem for them, probably. Nah, this is not a good play. I miss, like, I messed it up mechanic-wise so badly, and then I just took too much damage. I think if I just kill Shaco in like a smooth manner there, the way I intended to, I think I may have been able to kill the Ori, depending on my team's re uh, reaction capabilities. But uh, you know, I'm just uh, a bit of a dumb dumb. Is this warded? Seems to be warded. Okay. Jaco is bot lane, so we're gonna take his topside camps. Like in the instant I see this, it means he didn't didn't back yet, and both of his topside camps are leveled up, right? So I can take both of them for colossal value. Both his raptors and his scrugs are now mine, and then after this, I just go mid gank. But yeah, this is really really good value. Top lane gank wasn't looking too possible, but this is completely free. Get this out of here. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, Heimer did not get the timing on that. That's okay. There's gotta be a Shaco mid, right? I need to help him shove the wave here, actually, because this man has no mana. Ooh, there is indeed a Shaco mid. 
That doesn't do anything, does it? Oh, it doesn't. Okay, good. Hmm. The Shaco covering there does mean that I can't help him shove the last bit of the wave. He just needs to use his teleport, to be fair. He should be fine. There is a small chance Shaco just invades me now, but... I don't think so. Yeah, okay. He is right here. I am a little bit worried about the, the invade towards my wolves now. That's for sure. If I can get past these wolves without dying, I'll be very strong. Yeah, catching his topside two camps there is actually so huge. Because he is going to be behind on that. Even though I did die and he has two kills, he is actually not in a good spot right now. I think there might be a small chance I lose blue buff to him though. Just gotta keep up my clear for now, it's okay. I could definitely look for a potential bot gank because I'm hitting 6 off this. I don't know how far Yasuo is from 6, but... Good. Pull him in. That's one. Very good. That's exactly what I was looking for. Thank you, Thresh. Perfect stuff. Okay. There's a Shaco around here because the, this scuttle is recently cleared. I would like Midbolt to be able to respond to this. I'm going to try to delay my skills to a point where I can hold my attack speed for my passive as much as possible. There is a Shaco. Thank you, Thresh. You, he's playing well. Very, very good stuff. Okay, I'm going to take my back here because I need to recall with this amount of money. Build all the AP and boots right here. Because again, your passive still provides you with attack speed, right? So you're kind of chilling on that. Uh, with current state, like with the ex uh, current map state right now, I think he has not cleared both of these camps once again. Plus his rats back up. So he's probably going to go here. And I might be able to go counter that or kill the Orianna. That's kind of what I'm looking at. I need to like walk around and hug this wall if I want to get past this. I'm gonna go mid here. Please don't miss your bomb. You place the turrets. You are a maniac, mate. Ah, uh, just... What does he do there, man? Like, it's... Ah, uh, his E is on cooldown? That sucks. <laughs> you are not serious with that one. Build here. Got the lantern. Very nice. Very, very nice. Thank you, Thresh, for the good rotation. I appreciate you. Okay, well, if it's on cooldown, I can respect it, right? Like, obviously, that's fine. Uh, but he should have bomb stunned the Orianna there. Like, that would have been the better choice over his turret. But yeah. On cooldown is on cooldown, so you know, it, it, it do be what it do be at that point. Try to, like, dash through the Rift Herald every time it opens his eye. It's kind of the way you kind of want to look at this. You can, most of the time, just combo your QE into it straight away. Save yourself a bit of time on that one. Should be able to finish this entire Rift Herald. Yes, there it is. Good, good, good. Can't really go top here. Vayne is kind of dead. Because Shaco would also be top lane there, I think. I would expect. Actually, my red buff is fresh. So, no, he's going to be bot side. He's absolutely going to be bot side. I'm just going to ping towards my bot lane that he is bot side, so they respect it a bit. Dragon's 226. I think I'm just going to clear this camp here and this is reset because I have enough money for my Nashers, I believe. Yes, I will. That's a big buy. I need to get the buy item spike in there. I have the Baron reset anyway. So we're going to do this and then we're going to just defend our bot side camps at that point. 
Oh, he's right here. Yes, he did his blue as expected. It is both sides. That's fine. Um, Thresh is rotating mid. I think we should go bolt lane Thresh, really. I mean, I'm going to go with Thresh on this one. Uh, but I think bolt lane is the better choice. Thresh is much faster than me, but that's okay. That's not the best choice there, Oriana. She pulls me closer to her, so <laughs> it's not the best choice. Uh, we're gonna we need to walk this way because that uh, that will be scuttle warded, so we cannot walk through that side. But I'm gonna follow my thresh here. Like my, like, uh, my bolt side camps are completely defended, so Shaco cannot take those from me. So this is completely fried. Oh wow. That was actually really well played by the uh, Ezreal to survive that one. I'm blocking the uh, blocking the Ezreal Q there. Didn't do anything sadly, but oh, man, if only I was within range on that. I wonder if this is warded. Needs the one shot him there. Uh, you can do that with Diana, just like land the Q, e -W, e, like E in, and then W E through him, so all of your W orbs proc at the same time. And then you can do a bunch of burst damage. This is already going to die. I need to push the next wave in as well to uh, get this bounce on this turret here. I need this turret to be hit. What is he doing? Are you kidding? Okay. I was about to say, how did you not die from that? But okay, I need to be uh, a bit careful here. I can't do a whole lot more. I'm probably dead here, actually. I need to flash over and leave. I'm sorry, team, but I can't help you there. It's a bit too far there from Yasuo. Should be able to use the plant here to get out, I think, pretty safely. Uh, please, can I walk in a direction that is okay? They're gonna get dragon here, I'm pretty sure, but... Yeah, that, that was a little on the greedy end for Yasuo there. Little bit, so I'm just gonna say they have dragon and like, enjoy it, I guess, you know? Okay! <laughs> Sit down! Get absolutely decimated, buddy. Wow, that was that was very close, though. It was a very good. This time he he did go for the correct move, and he took the uh, the bomb stun, which stunned Shaco there for a hit, so he couldn't finish me off. They could not break me. Should be able to land the E from here somewhere. It's it's yeah, there it is. Okay, it's on cooldown now, but. I didn't know the, I didn't remember the exact spot you had to stand. It's like in this crevice-ish right here. It's like an indent where you can make it, as you saw. Uh, so, I mean, I did make it at the end, but yeah. I'm gonna buy an extra lar. No, actually, I'm not. I'm gonna go with this. I just do this for the mythic. All right, decent, decent. Shaco has five kills, but 30 CS behind. All right, before we continue with the rest of this video, I quickly wanted to mention that about 60% of the people who watch my videos aren't actually subscribed. So if you do enjoy my content, it would be greatly appreciated if you'd consider subscribing, checking if you're subscribed, and maybe hitting the like button as well. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this one. I'm gonna go for my topside camps now. Ooh, does it Chaco mid lane? Can I protect him here maybe? I'm gonna get the Oriana regardless, so she is definitely dead. Okay, she is dead to the... Uh... They both die at the same time anyway, that's fine. Uh, you don't always... Like, you want to try to get, like, um, your Q extensions for your E when it comes to, like, early game fights or, like, 1v1s and stuff, but if you're gonna go dive in and into mid to late game stuff, you just want to E ult in, basically. It's never really a good thing to go for Q resets because it's gonna be too predictable, if that makes sense. Like, you're gonna be way too readable. I cannot go for this mid turret because I won't get it anyway. Yeah, I figured the red buff would be up. I won't get it anyway because it's going to take me too long. And then their bolt is also already rotating. So 
I'm just gonna see if his topside camps are up and take whatever I can from him. To, uh, to keep denying him a bunch. I don't like this. I'm not a fan of this. Let's leave. Because I think they're going to get a numbers advantage here if I hit this. Oh, it's... Oriana went bot lane. Oh, okay. Well, I, read, I misread that situation. Did, did she already show bot lane? Am I just blind? I could just be blind, honestly. I'm very close to my smite upgrade and level 11, so I'm going to clear at least two camps before I would even consider doing a Rift Herald. Uh, because I want the smite upgrade at the very minimum to go for it. Okay. I mean, I'm expecting my Heimerdinger to show up for this. This is where you don't want to, like, not use your Q. Am I dead? I'm dead. Wow. I'm not, wait, I'm not dead yet. Oh, my God, man. Really? Damn. Tom Kench is unkillable. All right. Fair enough. I misread that situation completely. I thought he was actually going to be killable, but he just endlessly survives that. My bad. I got CC'd for 6.2 seconds as well. Mm. Alright. That's a mistake on my end, which has cost me quite a lot. It cost me a thousand gold, shut down towards the Tom Kench and my Magi stack, so that's really, really bad, of course. Damn. I don't know if he can survive this, but okay, that's the auto attack. He's probably gonna try to reset. I don't think he all the way walks out, right? Like, he is currently resetting in there. Oh no, he's not. There's a the scuttle. I could do the Rift Herald still. Really? Oh, you are very low HP, actually. Jesus Christ. No, 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 don't, 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 don't do this. Don't, your HP is way too low for that. I didn't realize this. Yeah, I need to get Herald here. Tom Kench is going to be an issue right now. I need to be very careful. That, bi that mistake I just made, that gave him like a thousand gold. That's a really, really big mistake right now. Because that's going to make him essentially unkillable, I think. He was already pretty tough to kill, but that's going to be rough. Is no one going to take top wave? I was about to say. Heimer goes for that. I need to go for Dragon here. I cannot be making that mistake against Tom again, but Tom is now quite strong, so I'm actually a little bit worried. That is definitely 100% my bad, though, for, for uh, doing that. This one camp gives me level 12, so I want to get it, hopefully, before this fight. Not give me level 12, are you serious? Well, that's rough. Uh, Tom Kench is one scary dude. He's uh, he's gonna make this very difficult on me right now. I think. Finish the Sunfire, yeah. I mean, Tom Kench showed himself bot lane, right? So I'm gonna just go kill Asriel on mid. If I can. I mean, he's gonna see me because of the ward there, but. Pulled him back at a good time, and he's dead. Clean out the wave real quick. So it starts shoving. Okay, they already did dragon. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to be able to contest the dragon. That's why I just go for Ezreal. I want to kill Tom Kench here. This, good, this guy should be dead, because the rest of the team is backs off. And we have a vein for true damage purposes. So, he, no matter how tanky we are, you're not going to survive like three to four people, right? Yeah, that, there he goes. Good, good, good. That was necessary. I, uh... Yeah, Tom Kench just mispositioned himself. So makes it free. No engage sequence there. Mm. 
You have a smite upgrade, okay. That's mine, thank you. Red buff. No, Thresh! Oh, oh, he already had one. Okay, I guess that's fine then. If he already has one, that's not an issue. Um, my Rift Herald's becoming interesting right now. I think I just take this turret with auto attacks. Is that something I consider here? I want to take his camps as much as I can still. I'm just going to auto attack this turret down. From that HP range, that should be fine. There he goes. Good. Free money. And now I just Rift Herald top turret, I think. I'm just going to Herald top turret here. This turret's worth 600 gold. I am not going to... Actually, I might be able to get the bounce. Okay, teleport does not allow me to get the bounce there. Fair enough. You've, I might even be dead because of the teleport then. Wait, he got interrupted? Okay. Oh, the flesh though. Oh, okay, I'm dead here. Oh, that flesh was... Damn it, man. I need... Ah, uh, I misplayed that so badly. Cringe. It's my bad. I'm losing my Magi stacks and bad deaths. The flesh messed me up so, so, so big time there. That was not good. It's okay. I mean, I'm getting stronger and stronger, so in overall, it's kind of fine. My shutdown wasn't too big there. I just misplayed once again. There's a bit of a mechanical issue. I could have played that a bit better. I probably should have gone for the Q reset on that. But I dis didn't anticipate like a flash being a problem, if that makes sense. Which is just something I uh, should have done. Like, getting that turret kill would have been huge. 600 additional gold. Clean some of these camps up, so I hit level 14. I'm gonna be able to do this pretty quickly. I really don't want the fight extended on mid lane. Like, I want to be able to reach this anyway. Oh god, they're gonna... Uh, please just walk out, man. They're gonna die to Tom Kench. There's no way they're winning this. Come, 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 come. Please. They, they extended that fight in a very risky manner, but I guess it worked for them, so respectable. That was not a fight I could have really ever joined, I don't think. I'll tank it for them. Vayne and Heimer should both have more than enough Baron damage for that to be okay. You need to hit the Baron, though. There's no way Tom Kens can get this from me, it's just not possible. Good. Uh, this is this money amount sucks. I mean, I, I guess I'm just gonna stay on the map, honestly. Just go clear my bolt side camps instead of backing. Hit level 15. I want to buy a large world as the next thing anyway, so... My Magi stacks are kind of in the mud, though. Like, I definitely did that to myself, I'm not gonna lie, but... You know, still not happy about it. Good damage. Heimer is going to take up the red buff. You're not very smart there, Heimer. That was not a very good pathing choice. Should have gone to either Vayne or Yasuo, but he walked into it. Fresh ward here. I'm going to check this as well. Uh, okay, Yasuo was slightly, slightly too late with that ultimate, but that's okay. It's still very, very... Okay, Orianna gets a crazy ult in return. Uh, hello? Are you kidding? That uh, I cannot hit this Shaco clone anymore because it's gonna murder me. Okay, good. That's what we need. Uh, it's just Rakan here. I wonder if he's backing in a bad spot. He is. You are one lucky, lucky rat, mate. Just barely out of range there. I want. I will take the rift. Or I will do the dragon for sure. But yeah, I just needed to play slow there into the Shaco because the Shaco that walked back on one HP must have been the real one, and I just execute him with E. That's not too bad. The initial ult is great. Like you want to engage those types of things, especially if you have like a, if you have a Yasuo, because Yasuo can ult and CC chain them within your ult, which is really strong. 
Uh, but you really want to look for those types of ults, and that's the way you engage with your ult as well. You prep your W, you E in, you ult and then you Q on top of yourself is the way you want to play it. Because that is something the enemy team cannot react to, not within a good time frame. So that is the way you want to do that, because otherwise you're not going to be able to catch them off guard with it. And if you're going to try to lead with Q, you're in trouble. I'm in trouble. I did this to myself, so I'm. This is my bad. The uh, I am. I am. I am suiciding a lot this game. This is really not good. The Rakan Shaco ult combination there, like he dodged my ultimate correctly once again. I believe I should have just gotten out. Going for the red buff was very, very greedy and very dumb. I'm playing a little bit too aggressive in situations where I really cannot be aggressive. I'm still like two levels up on Shaco, nearly three with, uh, what is that, like an ADCS lead? That's good, but I have like three, I believe, stupid deaths. So that's not good. A one or two camp should hit me level 16, which is good. And I mean, all I really have to do is just land a good ultimate for Yasuo. What is this Vayne build, by the way? Why are you? Why is this guy building full on lethality vein? Wouldn't have this been better if she gone like like the the stupid like hole breaker Trinity Force build or something? Whatever the the thing is that vein top does. I'll be careful. Oriana does not have Zonias. I have to keep that in mind because that is that is just a death for Oriana waiting to happen. I just need to land my E ult and she's gone unless she has flash. She can only do that once. I have flash as well. That works for me. It's a flash from Ezreal. He should be dead anyway, I think. Flash E used. And I get the move speed boost for the kill. He's already dead. I'm gonna go in with an EW on that one. Tom Kenji's already dead, so I might as well like walk after Shaco so he cannot turn around. He's dead here. I think he died. Ah, oh, he's too fast. I'm just gonna shove mid. It's okay. That was good though. We see, like, I, that was what I was saying. I can get the Oriana out of there real quick because she has no defensive thing. Uh, plus, like, she has no flesh, I think, in this situation. So, you know, she can't get out of my ultimate literally ever. So if I land EQ or, like, e, EW uh, ult on her initially, it's free. Okay, that's some damage right there. Calm down, Vayne. Jesus Christ. Okay. I guess that's why you built like that. Nice, got the Q hit by him dashing in, and then we just auto attack extend with W. I am dead here. There's nothing I can do. Very nicely played, Ori. That's flash ult down from Ori. Respectable. That's all I have to say. It was a very nice ult. Very, very nice ult. Okay, my Magius is just being an absolute, like, useless item this game, so I'm gonna sell it here for a big item. Which I think I should just go Sony uh, for. I mean, I don't have to do Zonias. I think Lich Bane is better. I'm gonna just go damage and bank on the fact that I can survive the team fight respectable enough to the point where it's fine. I mean, I've been not doing too good of a job on it, I suppose, because with some stupid deaths, some greed deaths, honestly, a bunch of greed deaths. Uh, but still, I feel like survivability overall is fine, and Lich Bane allows me to completely delete someone. We should just Baron. They can go for soul, I don't really care. It's just a, like one soul point, but we can get an entire Baron for it. In this situation, I think that's fine. Get, that, get this out of here and just quickly rush this thing down. If they counter this with a dragon, that is okay with me, honestly. Because we probably should be able to end the game anyway soon. And okay, they are not doing dragon either. Let's go for dragon now, because Shaco is topside, so we don't have to worry. 
Might be able to get in range for the Ezreal here if I try this correctly. Come on. Ah, uh, you... That was close. If it was any other AD carry, he would have just been dead. But Ezreal gets to survive that one, sadly. Did I bait my team into something? Looks like I kind of did, didn't I? Walk through other bushes there. I'm just gonna make sure I finish off the dragon real quick. I'm walking through the bushes to make sure I use my blue smite correctly. I need to be careful. Tom Kench could merc me with that. This needs to be off me right now. That's an Oriana. Oh, she had Zonias now. Okay. It's a good. It's a good eat. I'm distancing, distancing myself there. So I don't get hit by the Ori ult, which was incoming on that one for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna go for Ori. Prioritize the Ori, make sure that she can't do something very destructive. She bought the stopwatch, so she gets to survive for a bit. But yeah, it's all good still. Ooh. Clean both of them up. Can we end the game here? I think I can. Uh, one thing to note actually by then as well, try to always stand against the objective you're killing because otherwise your passive might miss. There it is. Good. Uh, 20 or 3,000 damage on this. 900 on here. Uh, we have 3,000 on Nashus as well. And uh, yeah, last item would have been a Void Staff here, I think. and uh, Or Sonia's to be fair, but that would be it. Uh, that's it for Oriana, or for Oriana, for uh, Diana though. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button below and I'll see you guys in the end game stats. All right, so for the end game stats here, I ended up doing 40k damage. Vayne did 48k damage? Damn, fair play, Nate. His build was, uh, I don't know, it felt, it felt weird to me. I don't, I mean, I don't really see Vayne top too often anyway, but the, the ones I do see is the ones with uh, like Trinity Force, whole breaker type setup, you know what I mean? So uh, fair enough, you know, whatever, well done. Good damage. I mean, Vayne scales well regardless, right? So damage late game in like 30 minute plus game should be expected to be high. But uh, she out damaged me, fair play. Uh, true damage at 800, just my damage. 11k, yikes. Whole oh, pain. Uh, we have objective damage here at 83.1k. This is very, very good. We can also look at like third damage at like 7k here as well. Uh, for Diana, like, as I said, uh, you have to stand, especially for the inhibitor, you have to stand against the inhibitor to be able to hit your passive on it, so that's a big thing to remember as well. Uh, but yeah, 83k objective damage is really good. Healing done at 15.2. Damage taken at the most, which is not unexpected. Uh, and yeah, but like we are a very squishy team relatively, I'm mostly going to be frontline engaging, which also costs me a lot of health, so yeah, fair enough. Self-mitigated at 45.2. Uh, we have gold earned here. Wait, how much did he? 103, yikes. Ooh, that's a lot. Uh, gold earned at 17.2, which is the most here. Um, and then for the runes, Conqueror healed me for 1100. Uh, but the adaptive damage is a big factor that you don't see right there. We have triumph for HP restored. Not too much, actually. I think most of my kills must have been uh, me being full HP. Fair enough. At tenacity for the CC reduction, we have quit a graph for 1100 bonus damage there, and then I would take absolute focus and gathering storm just for the extra raw AP. Um, I used to take like absolute focus water walking for quite a bit, but water walking got nerfed by quite a fair amount, so I'm just gonna go for some scaling with gathering storm now. And uh, yeah, feels pretty good honestly. But with that being said, that was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to the like button below. I upload daily, so be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.